Bobby. I was just wondering. Do you want to go to the beach? Do you want to go to the beach? Hey? Shall we go? So this is the walk to the beach. Absolutely covered in mosquitoes already. I feel like I'm gonna regret this a lot tomorrow. I don't know why I didn't bring any repellent. It's actually quite windy, but I guess it becomes less windy the further in forest you go. And we've arrived. This is so delicious. Oh, this one's ready.
welcome to my first ever video where I'm actually talking to the camera for once. Um, I'm very nervous. I've been trying to avoid this for a long time and it's just, it's caught up with me, you know. I've been thinking about making videos for ages now and I've just been putting it off, putting it off, but I do kind of want to explore it a little bit, so I guess that's why I'm here. Um, yeah, just to have a bit of fun and to see, see where it takes us really. But yeah, today I'm in my kitchen and I'm just about to make two candles. Um, I used to make candles a lot when I was travelling in the van and I pretty much sold every single one I made, so that's really great. Yeah, had a good formula, people loved them and yeah, it was going well. And then I decided to move country, <laughs> which put a bit of, uh, well, it put a massive spanner in the works and um, yeah, had to change supplier. For a long time we couldn't order anything online, uh, didn't have a bank account, you know, all of this stuff that comes with moving to a new country. Um, yeah, and obviously with the barn renovation as well. Yeah, I just had no time. But now I have some time, um, I'm a bit more settled, so I'm really keen to make some more candles and um, maybe sell them again in the future. But anyway, that doesn't matter because I've got to start again. <laughs> so yeah, I'm trying out a newish wax, which is uh, soy and coconut. And yeah, testing out two wicks that I've not used yet as well. So I'm just going to make these up and see how they burn. They've got no fragrance in them yet because I'm just testing the wicks, see how, see how they'll work. And yeah, I'll go from there. I'm going to do these candles on the hob because that's the way I've always done them. Um, I would definitely like to invest in a double boiler, but that's for, that's for later. It's not necessary. It is just a luxury, but it would probably make my life a lot easier. You know, I got what I got, so we'll make it work. I need 364 grams of wax. Before you think all I'm going to film is candle making, you'd be very wrong. I'm literally just filming this because I feel comfortable doing it and filming it actually, which is kind of weird. Um, I tried to make some more videos talking to the camera and it just, just didn't really work. So this is what we're doing. So yeah. Do I want to talk to the camera or what? I don't know if I do. Ugh, this is so cringe. Oh, I'm back in the car now. Back in the car now. I'm back in the car now. Back in the car now. Back in the car now. Ugh. I know it looks a little bit excessive for those two jars, but it will melt down and that should just be enough to fill these two jars so hopefully I've done my calculations right and it will fill it. So this is what the wax looks like now. Maybe it even looks too much. I don't think so though. Do I trust myself enough? Do I trust myself enough? I don't know, I don't know. I am rather rusty on the, the candle making skills, but yeah, I don't know, I guess we'll find out. The most annoying thing when you're making these candles is waiting for these little bits of wax to melt, because it's actually ready to be poured now. I just have to wait for these little blobs, and then we're good to go. So we are ready to pour. Now is the moment of truth and where I'm going to make an absolute fool of myself if I've measured the wrong amount. So, yeah. Here we go. Let's see. Oh, 
that's one and maybe we'll have enough for the next one. Oh, it's going well. Is she gonna do it? Yay! So it's a few days later now and I've started to test burn the candles and they're going fairly well, definitely be better so I think more testing with wicks is in order and yeah, I'm just going to have to do the process and figure out a new formula one step at a time. <laughs> 